District Attorney Don Landry says 27 reports as well as supplemental reports including body cam footage and civilian video were surveyed for this particular case but the mother says that she's just speechless that no indictment was made. I really don't know what to say. Uh, I'm speechless. During Tuesday's news conference, video from at least three police body cams were shown, all leading up to the moment Pellerin was shot 11 times outside of the Circle K convenience store on the Evangeline Thruway. Trayford's mother says majority of that video was something she had never seen before, despite repeated requests. She says she was only allowed to see one video. The first one with the taser I did see where it didn't work. It was, it had a defect. But other than that, anything else I didn't see. Other surveillance video showed Pellerin in the Circle K store standing near the door for several minutes. Trayford's mother says her son was very familiar with that store. She says Trayford's sister worked there. She worked at that store. She yelled, Trinika Pellerin. Trinika. Was she at work that night? No, she wasn't. But he was familiar yeah, with the location. Yeah, he would go and check on it. Pellerin family attorney Ron Haley says the fight isn't over. The journey is not over. Um, if you want to see change like I want to see change, uh, do not leave us. A lot of this they could have presented to me early on. I mean, they held it back for nine, you know, months, not knowing, you know, what actually went on. Shortly after the DA's press conference, Pellerin's mother thanked the community for the outpouring support that she received over the nine months. In Lafayette, Iman Boyd, KTC TV3.